Hi guys, welcome to my channel. This is my first official tutorial. I'm so excited um, and I'm also a bit nervous. Um, today for my first tutorial I decided to do this soft brown nude smoky eye with the glowy skin and peachy nude metallic lips. I hope you like it. If you like it a lot, give it a thumbs up and of course keep on watching to see how I created this look. Um, you can subscribe to my channel of course and you can also follow me on my other social medias they're linked down below in my description box and you can also visit my blog for more tips and swatches and reviews and yeah it's also linked down below I also hope that you excuse my English English is not my mother language and I recently started to speak English a lot since I am currently based in China um, but yeah, I learned English in school, so I'm Greek and I grew up in Germany, so I speak perfectly fluent Greek and perfectly fluent German. But I decided to do my tutorials on English so everyone can understand. So I hope you enjoy my tutorials and I hope to see you on my next tutorial again. Thanks for watching! Let's get started! My first step is my new Origins Moisturizing Cream. It is the No Oil Moisturizer. It's very light because I have an oily combination skin, so this helps a lot not to become too oily and still keeps my skin moisturized and ready for my foundation. Then I spray my face with a MAC Cosmetics Fix Plus Spray. This is supposed to be a setting spray, but I use it to prime my face with. It has this dewy, sticky finish and it feels very refreshing. Today I'm using my MAC Cosmetics Match Master Foundation in the shade 20. Um, I like this foundation a lot, but as you can see I'm about to run out. Um, this foundation dries out fast, so don't take too much time to blend it out, and it has a medium coverage. I'm creating a light base to prepare my skin for my next steps, um, so I don't put too much, I don't apply too much of it, because I'm going to correct with some um, color correctors. I'm a bit sick lately and my skin is irritated, especially from that bad hay fever I have, so I'm using a mint color corrector by LA Girl. The mint corrector will cancel out any redness and neutralize it and I'm applying some product under my eyes, on and around my nose and I'm blending out everything with my beauty blender. Now I'm using my LA Girl Pro Concealer to correct out my dark shades under my eyes. Um, I bought this in order to use it as a highlighter, but the undertone in this shade called Natural turned out a bit peachy, um, so I'm using it as a corrector to cancel out my purple dark shades. Um, I'm mixing this product with my MAC Studio Conceal and Correct Duo with the shade Pure Orange, and of course I'm blending everything into my skin again. As you can see, I forgot to correct the redness on my chin, so yeah, I'm doing this now. Now 
Now I'm using the MAC Cosmetics Studio Fix Fluid Foundation in the shade NC25 and this one is about to finish as well. I think I have to run to the MAC Cosmetics store and repurchase them because I use them lately in almost every makeup look. And yeah, this one has a medium to fall coverage and I'm gonna cover my full face and the color corrections with it. It is one of my favorite foundations. I'm leaving out almost half of my under eye area because I'm going to conceal and highlight them later on. Do not forget your neck and jawline and be careful while you're blending your foundation through outwards because if you have light blonde hair like me, you might end up covering your hair with foundation as well. I'm applying a um, thinner layer step by step and I build up my foundation safely without having too many and too thick layers of product in my face. I think this is a very good way to avoid any cakiness and patchiness and yeah, you know what I mean. Now I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the shade Porcelain to conceal and highlight my under eye area and between my eyebrows, the bridge of my nose and my cupid's bow. Of course I blend everything into my skin properly as always. Visit my blog to check out my LA Girl Pro Conceal review post, the link is in my description box below. Um, I know this shade might be a bit too light for me, but I love it because it gives me that super highlighted and fresh finish. And yeah, most of the times when I buy a concealer, I buy it a few shades lighter anyway, because yeah, as I said, I love this super highlighted finish. Now I'm contouring my nose with a LA Girl Pro Concealer again, and this one is in the shade Cool Tan. I love the applicator of this concealer because it's easy to draw lines with. Um, I'm not a pro in nose contouring, but I give my best and I'm still practicing. I could stay like this forever following you. Going on with the same concealer, I'm contouring below my cheekbones to sharpen them out, above my forehead and my chin. We want that nasty, nasty double chin gone. <laughs> I baked my under eye area and the fine laugh line straight away because I'm using these LA Girl Pro Concealers for the first time and I didn't know if they crease easily or move um, or separate or anything so I baked my under eyes with the RCMA No Color Powder. Um, now I'm modifying the rest of my face by using the Australis Banana Powder. I'm sharpening my contour lines with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit by using a cool shade and a small contour brush by Makeup Geek and then I use my bronzer brush, a large angled brush uh, by Morphe Brushes and a warmer tone from the same palette and I'm being a bit messier with my bronzer because this is just to add some sun-kissed color to my face. I'm applying the same bronzer shade onto the other contoured areas to add some warmth and make my face look sun-kissed. Then I'm adding more RCMA powder to my baking under eyes and I'm using this powder to clean out my contours as well. Um, I like to apply my loose powder with the same beauty blender I used before. This works much better for me than using a brush but you can use whatever works better for you. Um, if you find the right loose powder for you, it's definitely a magical product cause you can use it for so many purposes. I just purchased this RCMA powder recently and I'm liking it a lot. There's also a review about it on my blog so go and check it out. Now I'm priming my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in the color Painterly and this covers any veins and prepares my eyes perfectly for my eyeshadows. Moving on to my eyebrows that I actually have to put on first. <laughs> okay, let's be honest here. Let's be honest. <laughs> Um, I'm using many products and I love to try out many, but for this video I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz and the Deep Brow Pomade, both in the shade Taupe, but I'm planning to film actually a full eyebrow tutorial soon, so I won't show the whole procedure because this video is gonna be way too long.
eyebrows on fleek and let's give that eyebrow a perfectly matching eye look. I'm grabbing my Tarte Cosmetics Pretty Paint Box which I'm using for the rest of my face because I'm actually going to highlight and blush my face with it as well. It's such a beautiful product and let's not talk about this amazing packaging. Back to my eye look, I got a bit confused back there. <laughs> I'm using the two shades Van Gogh with it, um, which is a darker matte brown and frameworthy a lighter matte brown together as my transition shade and then I'm applying more of the first darker shade to define my crease and I'm blending out everything to get rid of any harsh lines. I'm applying more of the same shade on the outer corner of my eye and I'm blending it out softly to create that soft smoky effect. Then I'm going in with my paint pot again and now we're talking. This is basically something like a cut crease but it's actually the easiest way to do. Um, I'm carving out my crease but as I said it's something like a cut crease so it's not a cut crease. I'm not creating this super sharp line and I won't define that cut crease because this is supposed to be a soft smoky eye. Um, but this technique just makes it easier to create a nice contrast on my eyes. I will do a cut crease look soon though. Now I'm using the shade Fresco and I'm applying it on top of the paint pot color which I just used for my eyelid. Then I'm adding more dimension to my eye and I'm also creating this soft smoky look by adding more of the dark brown shade to the outer corner of my eye. First I'm blending it into my crease without adding more product just to soften this transition between the eyelid and my crease and then I'm adding more to the outer corner again to make it more intense. I'm going to smoke it out soon with a larger fluffy blending brush. Now I'm using the shiny metallic eyeshadow in the shade Glitter Glue and I'm applying it with my finger to highlight the area under my eyebrows and I'm blending the shiny and the brown eyeshadows together very gentle to get that nice soft transition. With the same shade I'm also highlighting the inner corners of my eye. Um, I like to do this because it adds some extra freshness to your eye and it brightens it up. Um, for the same reason I'm using a white beige nude Kaya liner from Maybelline and I'm applying it into my waterline because it makes my eyes look bigger at the same time. Um, for my under eye I'm using the shade Hearts and Crafts and then I'm creating more intensity by applying the shade Van Gogh with it and of course I'm blending it out. I'm going for my all-time favorite mascara, the Lancome Volume Porter in Black. So for blush, I'm using the shade Moment. This beautiful Tarte Pretty paint box contains 24 eyeshadows, a blush, one highlighter, a shimmery bronzer and a matte bronzer. Um, it also comes with a small mascara, a micro eyeliner and a little lip gloss. It's such a great palette and you can create so many looks with it. I just love it guys, you have to try it out. Um, now I'm going for the highlighter and unfortunately you can't really see it in my video but it's there, the glow is there. 
<laughs> um, I'm highlighting my cheekbones over my eyebrows and then I'm going for the matte bronzer and I'm adding some shade on the inner part of my cupid's bow and then I'm highlighting the outer part of it, the outer side of my cupid's bow. Now it's time for my favorite part of my makeup, my lipstick of course, and first I'm wearing the Lime Crime Matte Velveteen Lipstick in Bleached. This is a lovely peachy nude tone as you can see. Um, I really like the Lime Crime lippies. I'm trying them out for the first time, but they have a really, really nice creamy formula and they dry very fast, very, very fast. But yeah, I wore this for about 3-4 hours and it stayed in place. So I love it. On top I'm applying the Metallic Velveteen Lipstick in this shade Blondie. Um, first I couldn't decide between the shade Blondie and Happy, but I go with Blondie. Happy is a fantastic metallic lipstick too, but it has more of a purple lilac pinkish undertone, so I thought Blondie looks better with that look. My lashes are cruelty free synthetic lashes, which I bought in China recently. Um, they look very, very natural and they are wearable the whole day. They have a light touch, so your eyes feel free and light the whole time. Um, you can wear them the whole day. I have very sensitive eyes, so many, many lashes won't work for me. Yeah, but these are my ride or die everyday lashes. I love them. Unfortunately, you can't order them online, so yes. I'm sorry, I can't tell you where you can buy them from. 